Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academy Coordinates. In this video, we're going to sketch a hyperbolic graph, right? H of x is equal to negative 1 divided by x plus 2. You know what I'm saying? Let's just dive right into it. Go grab your pen and paper and let's do this mess together. Okay, first of all, we're going to determine the intercepts, right? The intercepts are where the graph will, will, will actually cut either the y-axis or the x-axis, right? First of all, we're going to determine the y-intercept. At the y-intercept, we let x equals to zero why are we doing that it is where the graph will cut you know the y-axis right and so the equation of the y-axis is x is equals to zero and hence we let x equals to zero right there right so it's going to be h of zero equals to minus one divided by zero plus two okay and now we take a shell pill and we're like what is happening here we have got a problem Anything divided by zero is undefined. You know, at this point in time, it's not the time where you stand up from your test and run away and say math is difficult. But just look at it, right? We are sketching a hyperbolic graph. So if the graph um does not have an does not have a y-intercept, it means there is no way that the graph will actually touch or cross. You know the y axis you know what i'm saying so basically um the y intercept is undefined so the graph i mean this function does not have any y intercept what does that mean it means that um the function will never cross the y axis you know what i'm saying then secondly we're going to determine the x intercept the x intercept you're going to let y equals to zero right this is this is um this is where the graph will actually cut the x axis you know what i'm saying so um we are going to determine the value of x right when y equals to zero you know what i'm saying so it's going to be zero equals to negative 1 divided by x plus 2 you know what i'm saying okay we are going to simplify this thing further you know so it's going to be 1 divided by x is equals to 2 divided by 1 2 and 2 divided by 1 is the same thing you know what i'm saying then after we're going to solve for x here you know we're going to cross multiply so it's going to be 1 multiplied by 1 equals to 2 multiplied by x you know what i'm saying and hence 2x is equals to 1. You know, what's the value of x? x is equals to 1 over 2. Hence, the x-intercept is 1 over 2 and 0. This is where the graph will actually cross the x-axis. Okay, guys. Um, you might be asked, for example, you know, to find extra points so that you can be able, you know, to sketch um, your graph. Um maybe with the highest degree of accuracy, you know, extra points, you know what I'm saying? But if you're not asked to find extra points, then, I mean, we can sketch the graph from the get-go. Let's say, for example, um, you choose your extra points. So f of 0, obviously, is undefined, you know what I'm saying? f of 1, you know, will be negative 1 divided by 1 plus 2, right? So negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1 plus 2. That will equal to 1. You know, f of 2. Um, so that's going to be 1 and 1. This is one of the extra points. Um, f of 2 is going to be negative 1 divided by 2, right, plus 2. So negative 1 divided by 2 is a half. A half plus 2 is going to be 3 over 2, right, or 1.5. You know what I'm saying? So, when x is 2, y is going to be 3 over 2. You know what I'm saying? So, you can continue, guys, finding um, extra points. Also, for the negative, also. It's not only for the positives. Right? Let's just find 1 or 2 here. f of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 1 plus 2. Okay, so negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, right? So this point will be negative 1 and 3. You know what I'm saying? So this is how you guys find extra points 
right? Um, f of negative 2 is negative 1 divided by negative 2. So it's going to be a half plus 2. So a half plus 2 is going to be 5 over 2 or 2.5. You know what I'm saying? So 5 divided, I mean, negative 2 and 5 divided by 2. So this is how you find the extra point. But if they never asked you to find the extra points, you can just um, ignore them. Or do them, you know, if you feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. First of all, before we can sketch the graph, let, let's, just, let's just look at our function. It's a hyperbolic graph, right? It has got a negative value. Um, okay, let's look at this one. This is 1 over x, right? Um, and its wing, its wing, its wings, I mean, it's, it's on the first quadrant and on the third quadrant, you know? So if it's negative 1 divided by x, right, the wings will be on the second quadrant and on the fourth quadrant, right? So that is what has been, that, that is what has happened right now. You know what I'm saying? And also what happened is that we added um, 2, you know what I'm saying? So the graph um, was actually shifted 2 units upwards. And um, there is... A name that we give to the value of 2 right okay let me just put it there um, y equals to 2 is the asymptote asymptote is that a right spelling asymptote okay cool cool you know what I'm saying so there's gonna be a line a dotted line at y equals 2 Two, you know what I'm saying. This is the um horizontal asymptote. Y is equal to two. Is the horizontal horizontal asymptote? You know, I was asking my brother. I think two days ago, what is an asymptote? And he was telling me that an asymptote is an imaginary boundary line that a function approaches but never touches. You know what I'm saying? So there is it, guys. You know, he has saved the day right um the graph will approach this imaginary line but by no means will it touch it right okay let's just sketch the graph you know um okay it's not drawn to scale right um here you can put y or you can put h of x you know because that is the function there okay cool so at y equals to 2 y equals to 2 we have got a horizontal asymptote right and then um it it has got no y um intercept so there is no way our function will cross the y axis right and also it has got an x intercept of um let's just see that of a half and zero so somewhere here you know what i'm saying our function will cross them you know let us sketch our function. So our function will go like this. It's going to cross there. Then it continues. Then the other wing will come like this. Ooh, is that visible? Um, so it's, it's basically going to be like this, guys. Y is equal to 2. You know? So, you know, and remember that it's 1 over 2. Remember that um, these two wings are symmetrical, right? So it's 0 there, it's y, and it's x. So this is how our function will look like. You know what I'm saying? You know? And also, you guys know that they are symmetrical, right? And also here, uh, sorry, it's going to cross here. You know what I'm saying? So these uh, two wings are symmetrical. So that is our function. Let us just analyze it just a bit. Maybe you can. You might be asked a question that says, um, find the domain of the function. Find the domain of the function. And the domain is where your function exists horizontally, right? Where your function is defined horizontally. Looking at this function, right? It continues here. It continues, continue, 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 continue. Until like they say, 
towards like negative infinity and also but here where x equals to zero right a domain we it's a actually an element of x so where x equals to zero the function is undefined and then it continues again here up until positive infinity so the domain right is an x an element of negative infinity until zero at zero the function is undefined you know the function is undefined we union that from zero up until positive infinity because of at x is equal to zero the function continues then it goes 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 goes, goes until infinity do you know what i'm saying cool then they say find the range of the function right the range the values of y right where your function exists you know like vertically right we can see that our function continues here it goes down you know what i'm saying without bound it goes 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 down you know to negative infinity right then um also here it goes up 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 up, up you know it's a positive infinity but at y is equals to two our function is undefined you know it never touches um this boundary so um our um, our range is going to be from negative infinity coming up 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 until here until y is equals to two I don't include this, you know, hence I did not put square brackets because of there is no way that the function will actually touch this line, you know. And then I'm going to union that from 2 until positive infinity. So that is how we find the range, guys, you know what I'm saying. And then you might be asked for the values of x, the values of x where um, h of x increases or decreases right okay the values of x looking at this function this function from around here it increases 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 increase. i think if you do the table method you'll be able to appreciate that okay let's look here right at negative one you know your function um equals to three um f of negative one your function equals to three f of negative 2, your function equals to 5 over 2. So from 5 over 2 to 3, right, the function increases, right? Also, if you can look here, f of 1, your function is 1, and then f of 2, your function is 3 over 2. So it increases, you know what I'm saying? So, but I'm um, writing it now, where your function increases, okay, let's just lift this up. Where your function increases, your function increases when x is an element of um from negative infinity your function increases increase 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 but here um at y is equal i mean i mean at x is equals to zero your function is not increasing so we we're gonna put that there and then i'm gonna union it with here also here the function increases from um here it goes 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 up up up, up increases you know what i'm saying so basically all of these x values your function is increasing so from zero until positive you know infinity right there and you might be asked also where is your function decreasing i'm sure at home you can actually see now um your function is decreases nowhere as this one it's decreasing nowhere this function is increasing here it's increasing here can i tell you guys that there is nowhere that this specific function decreases so it decreases nowhere right but let's look at this for example this guy it this function is decreasing 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 right and also here it is decreasing you know what i'm saying but our specific function here is increasing 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 and increasing so there is no way it decreases all right guys this is them this is how you sketch hyperbolic graph you know we've limited ourselves to vertical shift you know what i'm saying so do stay tuned, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. And, and, and if there's anything that you do not understand, feel free to ask me on the comments below or you can email me, you know what I'm saying? But above all, do enjoy the rest of your day.